Good movies for learning English. All right, let's take an activity that you already do every single week, watch movies, and turn it into English practice. Why not, right? Save you time and have fun at the same time. I'm Jennifer, certified English teacher and communications expert. And in this video, I'm going to share five movie recommendations for good movies for learning English. All right, let's get started. Movie one, The King's Speech. You guys, this is one of my all time favorite movies because it is so inspirational. Now, this movie was made in 2010. It's one hour and 59 minutes long, so it is on the longer side, but I definitely think it's worth it. Let me tell you a little bit about the movie. So the movie takes King George, who is Queen Elizabeth's father, just to give you some context. Okay, so King George has a speech impediment, speech impediment. So, and his impediment is a stutter. So a st stutter when he's ch ch trying to talk, he, he, he can get the words out. Now, as an English learner, although you don't have a stutter, you can certainly relate to the frustration, the embarrassment, the feelings of shame and doubt that you get when you can't communicate your ideas fluently and confidently, right? So King George is a native English speaker, but this disability, this impediment, is preventing him from communicating his ideas. Now, so imagine you already have this disability, this impediment, you already stutter, which is worse enough, right? But then on top of that, you're the king of England and you're expected to give presentations in front of your entire country, your entire world, and people are judging you based on your ability to present. Oh my God, right? Can you imagine the pressure that King George felt in order to give presentations with this stutter? But thankfully, King George was a very smart man and he knew that he needed to fix this issue. So he looks for a speech expert, a speech therapist, someone to help him remove his stutter. So he finds someone who has very eccentric methods, really interesting, bizarre methods. For example, putting marbles in his mouth and trying to talk at the same time. So anyway, they work together. He gets frustrated throughout it. He's not seeing improvements. He's just feeling really bad about his speaking skills in general. Hmm, can you relate to this? And then at the end, he gives his final speech to the entire country. I don't want to ruin the ending for you, so I want you to watch the movie. No spoilers. Okay, but I think you'll love this movie because it's so inspirational and you can identify with the struggles that King George faced. And also you'll realize that you're not the only one who has problems communicating their ideas. Even in someone's own native language, they still need to deal with issues such as a potential speech impediment. Maybe they have something else preventing them from communicating or they're really shy, they have social anxiety. There are a lot of other reasons that even native English speakers have difficulty communicating. So this movie is a must watch. It will leave you feeling really good, really confident, confident and really motivated at the end to work on your own speech issues. Movie number two, Toy Story. Okay, this movie is just adorable. I remember watching this movie when I was a little kid in the movie theaters. They've since made a Toy Story 2 and a Toy Story 3, 
But the original Toy Story was made in 1995 and it's an hour and 21 minutes. So this is a relatively short movie. It's an animated movie for kids, although adults love this movie as well. So don't worry, it's not a kid's movie. Adults enjoy and watch this movie and it's frequently on the best movie of all time list. Because also it has Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, two amazing actors, two comedians, and the movie is very funny. So the plot of this movie, this movie is about a little boy named Andy who loves his toy cowboy named Woody. He plays with this cowboy every single day, takes it with him wherever he goes. But then for Andy's birthday, he gets a new toy. This really bright, colorful, modern spaceman named Buzz Lightyear. And Andy loves this toy even more than his old cowboy. And he doesn't play with this cowboy anymore. But what Andy doesn't realize is that when he leaves, when he goes to school or goes to sleep, the toys come to life. And they have their own stories and their own adventures. So the story is about friendship, rivalry, jealousy. There's a lot of great themes in this movie and it's a classic that we can all relate to because even as adults, we remember how amazing it was to have these toys that we would take with us everywhere and how these toys were our friends and how important they were to us. And even though as adults, we don't play with toys anymore, generally, <laughs> we can all relate to that feeling of friendship that we had. So it's a really great movie. The language is quite, quite clear and easy to understand, and it's short, lighthearted, highly recommend. Number three, learning to drive. This movie was made in 2014 and it's one hour, 45 minutes long. Now, this is a movie you're probably not going to find on anyone else's recommended list, but I saw this movie randomly. It was on Netflix. I just saw the title. It looked interesting and it turned out to be an amazing movie with a really great message. Now, what's interesting about this movie as well, it involves a very rich, educated, New York woman, and it involves an immigrant from India. Now, the woman has this amazing career, amazing friendships, amazing life. She has everything, but she's really self-conscious about one thing in her life. She can't drive. She doesn't know how to drive. She never learned and is terrified of driving. And then she meets this driving instructor who happens to be this man from India. Now, she signs up for this driving class and when the driving instructor comes for the first lesson, she tries to tell him like, no, no, I'm too busy. I can't do it today. I'm sorry, I need to cancel the lesson. This driving instructor was very smart because he understood that her reason for canceling was fear. She was afraid to drive. It had nothing to do with being too busy, not being able to that day. It was simply fear. So this driving instructor gradually pushes her and pushes her beyond what she thinks she's capable of and he puts her in these difficult situations, but she always does well. She gets her confidence up and she feels like this sense of accomplishment for learning how to drive. But her struggle to learning to drive is very real. She takes her driving test, doesn't do very well. She gets into a car accident. Like a lot of things happen to her as she's learning to drive. She wants to quit many times, but every time she has this instructor that's pushing her. 
And at the same time, they develop this friendship. Now, even though they're two complete strangers from completely different worlds, immigrant from India, rich lady from New York, you wouldn't think they would have anything in common, but they develop this friendship. So why I'm recommending this movie to you is for one, it shows you that two people that might not have anything in common, an immigrant and a native English speaker can still become friends, develop a friendship, bond, and also because the fear of driving is very similar to the fear of public speaking, for example. And I think if you see in this movie, every time she's trying to drive, if you imagine it's yourself trying to speak English, you'll understand that the principles are exactly the same for overcoming that fear, whether it be driving or speaking in English. So it's very inspirational and I know you'll love this movie. Highly recommend. Movie four, Forrest Gump. All right, obviously I had to include this movie. It's a classic. This movie was made in 1994. It's two hours and 22 minutes long. It's a little bit long. You might even want to watch it over three separate nights, for example, because that's a long time to listen in English. You might get tired. So just a little bit of a warning. Of course, Forrest Gump, my name's Jennifer Forrest, this movie came out when I was a little kid. I was probably about 10 years old. Well, looking at the date, I was nine years old. Now, I used to get made fun of in class because everybody would yell, hey, Forrest, because of the movie, because we have the same name. But regardless of that, even though I do have some bad memories from this movie, it's still a classic movie. It has such a wonderful story to it. It's starring Tom Hanks. Now, this movie is basically Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. He's sitting on a park bench and he's telling his life story to strangers who are waiting for a bus and who just come sit down. Now, he's lived this incredible life. As a child, he had a physical disability as well as an intellectual disability, which he had to overcome. He faced a lot of struggles, being made fun of in school, being picked on. Even his own teachers and parent didn't think he was going to do very well. But then he overcame these obstacles. He got a scholarship to play football in college. He went on to fight in the war. He made a friend, he falls in love, he opens his own business. He experiences loss, loss of friends in the war, loss of other friends and loved ones as well. So it's very touching and it shows that life has both its high moments but also it's really low moments and you can't get the good without the bad. So it's very realistic and it's one of those classic movies that you simply just need to watch. It has a lot of American culture and American history in it as well, which I think you'll find very interesting as an English language learner. And of course, people still quote the movie today. For example, you'll find many people saying, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get until you get it. That's a popular quote now. It's from the movie Forrest Gump and there's lots of other quotes from the movie as well. So highly recommend. Movie five, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is a really fun movie. It's a comedy, an action, and a drama, maybe a romance wrapped all into one. It was released in 2013. It's an hour and 54 minutes long. And I'm recommending this to you more so because there's a lot of travel in this movie and you see a lot of different parts of the world. And I know if you're learning English, generally you're interested in travel as well, exploring other cultures, meeting new people. And you get to see that in this movie. 
Plus, this movie has a really great theme about this average guy. He's middle aged. He's pretty bored, dissatisfied with his life, and he wants to change it. He wants to be a different person. He always imagined that he would have this amazing life. And then by chance, he goes on all of these really interesting adventures, these larger than life adventures. And through that, he develops himself as a person, develops his own interests, hobbies, activities, and he discovers how amazing life can be. And I'm recommending this because I think we all can struggle with this and relate to this, this feeling of sometimes we get into a little bit of a rut, a little bit of a routine with life, and we want to experience more, we want to do more, and a lot of it comes down to motivation. And when you're learning English, being able to motivate yourself is very important, right? And I find that if you can find that motivation, you can really do so much with your English. And you also realize that learning English opens so many doors to travel opportunities, to meeting new people. And those are the same themes that you find in the movie, although he's not learning English, but he's still experiencing the same things that you can get through learning English as well. So when you watch this movie, think about how your skill of learning English can help motivate you to go out and seek out these adventures, meet new people, join new groups. You don't have to be isolated in your room watching YouTube videos about learning English. Learning English is so much more than that. Get out there in the world, use your English, explore, meet people, get out of your comfort zone. And that's what this movie is about. And that's something that we all, myself included, we all can benefit from getting out of our comfort zone. So highly recommend this to you. All right, now you have five movies. So tell me in the comments, have you watched any of these movies? And which one do you want to watch the most? So let me know in the comments. And of course, if you have any other recommendations for good movies for learning English, put them in the comments so everyone else can benefit from them as well. And tell us why is that a good movie to watch? Before you go, make sure you download my free guide, How to Speak English Fluently and Confidently in Six Easy Steps. This is absolutely free and the link to this is right in the description. So just click that link and download the guide and this will help you get on your way to becoming a fluent, confident English speaker. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy studying.